one of the most dangerous aspects of our public discourse is that we don't ask those people and politicians to quantify their policy demands. For example, we have a majority of people and politicians in the country who don't think the size of government debts or the unfunded liabilities that we're passing on to our children are a problem. I say, fine, but I want to know how big the debt and unfunded liabilities would have to get before they'd consider it a problem, and they don't have an answer. A majority want to raise taxes on business. Well, the questions are, how high and what are the consequences? We regularly hear that the top 1% of income earners are not paying their fair share in taxes. Well, I've never found anyone pushing that view who knows what they pay now in income tax, property tax, sales tax, gasoline taxes, payroll taxes, etc., or what specifically is their fair share. What's more, they don't understand that if more money was taken in income tax, revenues from other forms of taxation, like sales taxes, would go down. In Europe, Angela Merkel's fuzzy-headed, open-ended approach to refugees came with no thought as to the consequences of unlimited entry, not even a definition of refugee. And that approach has now come home to roost and is the catalyst for growing anti-EU sentiment and clearly played a role in the Brexit vote. And back to the failure to quantify at what levels debt and unfunded liabilities have become dangerous, well, that threatens the entire global financial system, as well as social stability as the problems become unmanageable. And we're just beginning to see the signs. As I always say, welcome to the age of consequences. My name is Mike Campbell. Join me Saturday for Money Talks.